Hi everyone, I'm Erin for the Comic Hunter, and today we're looking at the 2-4 player game Dominion. In Dominion, you are a ruler of a small kingdom with dreams of expanding your lands into the most valuable kingdom, or Dominion. Race to get as much land as possible by hiring workers, expanding your castle, building buildings, and collecting treasure. To win a Dominion, you must collect land represented by these victory cards. The 1-point Estate, 3-point Duchy, and 6-point Province. At the end of the game, the most victory points wins. Setup is quick and simple. Create the supply of treasure by placing all the copper, silver, and gold into three piles. Place the piles next to the victory cards. In a two-player game, place eight of each victory card in the supply. In a three or four-player game, place 12 of each. Finally, choose 10 kingdom cards from the supply. You can do this by using the randomizer cards or you can pick the ones you like. Randomly shuffle 10 down onto the table or pick the 10 you like. Then replace these cards with the cards from the supply. If you are playing with the Witch card, place 10 Curse cards for a 2-player game, 20 for a 3-player game, and 30 for a 4-player game beside the supply. Here, we have set up the game with the recommended setup for 2 players. To start the game, each player gets 3 Estate cards and 7 Copper cards, with the Estate cards coming from the remainder of those in the box. Each player then shuffles their deck and draws 5 cards. Each turn in Dominion consists of three phases, action, buy, then clean up. In the action phase, the player may play one action from their hand. Since you don't start with any kingdom cards, you won't be able to, to do this for a couple of turns. Each turn, you will only be able to play one action unless you have a card that gives you more. To play a card, you lay the card face up in your play area, then perform the actions from top to bottom. You can still play the card even if you can't perform all the actions. For example, this smithy card lets you draw three cards into your hand from your supply, known as your draw pile. This market card gives you plus one card drawn from your supply, plus one action, meaning you can play a second action card, plus one buy, giving you the option to buy two things, and plus one money to buy something with. Cards like this remodel allow you to trash a card in your hand. This means taking it out of your hand and putting it in the trash pile. It is now removed from the game. As you will see, this can be an important play as your personal deck grows. When you cannot perform or do not want to perform any other actions, move on to the buy phase. In the buy phase, the player can gain one card from the supply by paying its cost. The cost of all cards is found here in the lower left-hand corner. To purchase, you play all treasure cards in your hand and add up the value of each. Coppers are worth 1, silver is 2, and gold is 3. Then add the value from any action cards like this militia that gives you plus 2 money. So 2 copper, a silver, a gold, and a militia card would be a total value of 9. They can then use this value to purchase one card from the supply. It can be an action card, a treasure card, or a victory card. Remember, unless you have an action card that gives you plus one buy, you can only purchase one card, so make sure you choose wisely. Place any card purchased face up into your discard pile. The cleanup phase is then simply taking all the cards played and any left in your hand and placing them in the discard pile. You then draw five new cards from your deck. If there are not enough cards in your deck, you can shuffle your discard pile and make yourself a new draw deck. Now you get to use those cards you just purchased. The game ends when the last province card is bought, or when three piles of kingdom cards are empty. We then count up all the victory points in your deck, and the player with the most points wins. So why do we recommend Dominion? That's easy! It's quick, simple to learn, and offers a lot of choices with just the right amount of luck. As you purchase cards, your personal deck will get bigger, meaning you will need to balance what you are buying. Treasure cards will let you purchase more expensive action cards and victory points, but having the most treasure won't win you the game. Action cards will give you special abilities, but also won't win you the game. Victory point cards are the only thing that will win you the game, but if you draw five cards and three of them are victory point cards, your opponents will be performing actions and purchasing while you hope for a better draw next turn. As your deck gets bigger, it takes more time to cycle through it and see each card. 
This means your deck is more powerful with action cards and treasure. However, strangely, it also gets weaker as you get victory points or a handful of only action cards. When is a good time to trash a card? When is a good time to buy victory points? Is it better to buy an estate and get one victory point? Or is it better to spend my resources on something else? Do I need another action card? Am I better off just buying treasure this turn? You will find yourself asking all these questions each time. Simply put, Dominion is a fantastic deck building game. It offers a tremendous amount of replayability through a changing market with each setup as the box comes with over 20 different action cards. Dominion also has lots of expansions that can be added to the base game to give even more variability, but we will leave you to explore those on your own. Drop down to the Comic Hunter today to check out Dominion 2nd Edition. Our box experts seem to really love this one, but it could be the cat in it hiding in the back. If you like the idea of a deck building game, but think I'd rather put things in a bag, maybe try the Quacks of Quidlinburg, a game about making potions that is easier than spelling quacks and as hard to win as saying Quidlinburg. Thanks for watching.